which you can follow up with her. Thank you. The second person who signed up to speak is Mr. Damien Barone. He speak on agenda item number four, budget discussion, parent and community district interaction and public request. You have three minutes. Your time is counting. Greetings. Damon Barone, Ailey Fias, the parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. On January 24th, 2023, the district released a statement that you all were $19 million, you all were in a $19 million deficit. Excluding tonight's meeting, so far there have been 18 school board meetings in the first six months of this academic school year. Eight special called board meetings, three board workshops, and seven regular board meetings. During the August 24, 2021 school board meeting, when responding to Damon Barone's comments during the public participation portion of the district's budget and proposed tax rate presentation, Master Trustee Rick Moreno stated, and I quote, I just have one quick comment and thank you for the report and the process. And for the people who are watching at home or listening from the audience, this is not brought to us in one piece of paper, and this is the first time we've seen it. This is something that we see weekly, something that we you know, two or three times a month. Every month, every month we discuss the budget. We get information. So, you know, it's very well thought out. A lot of meetings, a lot of planning involved, and so forth, end quote. If this be the case, then how come no, at no time during these 18 public school board meetings has there ever been a discussion or an inclination that the district was in a $19 million financial deficit, yet Master Trustee Rick Moreno alleged that the school board sees the district's budget three times per week, alleged that the school board views the budget two or three times a month, and alleged that the school board discusses the budget during every board meeting. Also within the January 24, 2023 communication regarding the $19 million budget deficit, the district asked parents and community members to make phone calls, send text messages, and encourage students to come to school whenever they're well. Encourage state legislators to fund schools based on enrollment versus attendance. Advocate with state legislators for an increased dollar amount for each student, also known as the basic student allotment, and be, and be proud advocates of our public school community. I question why the district consistently promotes A-Leaf ISD parents and community members to advocate everywhere but here in A-Leaf ISD where you all have local control. In my seven years of sitting in these school board meetings and witnessing the ways in which the board and the district leadership has treated parents and community members who have expressed concerns and sought remedies for things as simple as asking the district to publicize and announce board meeting, meeting dates and times in the same manner in which you all robocall us email us, text message us, and post on social media when you want something from us. I can completely understand why parents are unenrolling their children from the district while continuing to, to reside within the school boundaries of A-Leaf ISD. So consider that the next time somebody stands up here at this podium and asks you all to do something, and you tell us that y'all are doing the legal limit or you're not required to do that. Damon Barone, A-Leaf ISD, parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Damon Barone. We are now ready to consider agenda item three, accountability 2023 update and overview of the 